Hello iPad lettering friends, what are your plans for 2019? I really hope you're not like me and plan everything last minute. One of the things I really want to do less of in 2019 is procrastinate. I have figured out how much my procrastination tendencies stress me out. So my goal for 2019 is to plan ahead a little bit more in the hopes of less procrastination. <music> I've always had my planners, but I tended to do more journaling, like tracking things after they happened. But this year, I'm going to make much more of an effort to plan things ahead. Even setting myself some tighter deadlines, just so I'm less tempted to procrastinate and actually get more things done. The reason why I started making calendar templates was not just to plan things, but originally I also wanted to have more reasons to use the iPad. So in the last two years, I've had templates that work really, really nicely. But this year, I wanted to take it a step further and create not just a template, but a calendar maker, which is a system that will let you make your own calendar. And what's really cool about it is it's not just for the iPad, but you can print the finished pages as well. And then if you didn't think this was pretty cool already, we can take it one step further and even use it on the phone. Thanks to the new version of Procreate Pocket, you can now also make your own calendar pages on your phone. It's so exciting. Let me show you right now how this works. All right, let's get started with our calendar. So the first thing you want to do is import the templates into Procreate. If you're not sure exactly how to do that, I've got another video that shows step by step how to download, extract zip files, and then import them into Procreate. And it works exactly the same with these templates as well. So let's bring up File Explorer and let's have a look what's in the contents of the zip file. So you'll see that there is two sets of templates. There is the Monday start ones and then there's the Sunday start one. So depending on your preference, you can choose either one. I usually like the Monday start calendar templates, so I will be importing these ones. So I'm going to open up the folder and then select and select all. And then you can just drag them all into Procreate like this. And now they're all getting imported into the gallery. So now that we are done with that, we don't need File Explorer anymore. So we can swipe it away. And now we have all the calendar templates in Procreate. I always recommend that you create a stack. It just makes it easier to find your canvases and it keeps your gallery nicely organized. So you tap select and then you just highlight the canvases that you want to stack like this and then tap on stack. And here is our calendar template stack. So there we have it. So now let's also rename it and let's call it calendar 2019. Cool. And now you'll see that the files are not in the right order. So if you feel that you wanted to have them in the right order, feel free to rearrange them. I like doing that. I'm a little bit obsessed with having things in the right order. So I usually like them a little bit organized. So let's do that now. Perfect. So now they are in the right order. Much better. All right, now let's have a look at one of the templates and see what's actually inside. So if we open up the layers panel, you see that we've got a group of layers here, which is locked. And these are all the template components. The reason why it's locked is so that you don't accidentally overwrite it. But of course, if you want to make modifications, then you can unlock this group by just sliding to the left and then unlock it. And then all the layers are accessible. So if you just wanted to use the templates as they are, feel free to do that. Use the right here layer and then start your planning. So you would just write anything that you would want on a given day. Maybe circle it and then um, what will I do? Make YouTube video. And then it's also nice to use different colors for different things so you can easily see um, what kind of task you have planned for each day. So this is a very easy way to get started with these templates. But now let's take it a step further. And let's see how we can actually customize these. So the first thing you want to do is open your layers panel and then just will open the template layers. So now if we turn the visibility of some of those layers off, you can see that 
the template has different groups. So if you just wanted to use the grid and then maybe write your own labels, you can certainly do that. This is the month heading there. And then we have got the week numbers there. We have got the labels, which is um, week and then all the days of the week. And then I've got little labels down here as well. And then um, we also got the dates. So this lets you create your own calendar and be really flexible with how you want to use it. And then I want to show you another trick, which is pretty cool as well. So this is a standard size. You can print this on an A4 or a letter size paper, no problems. But you might find that you might want to make a template that has a photo on top or maybe one of your lettering pieces. So let's see how we can do that as well. So the latest version of Procreate, and it's important that you have the latest version, actually lets you change the size of your canvas. And we're going to make use of this functionality, which is pretty cool. So if you tap on Actions and then Canvas, and then choose Crop and Resize, you'll see that the Crop and Resize panel is coming up. And now what you can do, let's say you wanted to place a photo above, you can actually extend the canvas. So if you drag it up, you can maybe make it this big. And you'll also see the bigger you make the canvas, the less layers you'll have available. And also depending on the iPad that you have, you might not have this many layers available as well. Um, so let's tap done. And now it says it's cropping the canvas, but it's actually extending it. So it's all good. So now we have all the space here at the top and we can place anything we want in there. So now I think it would look really nice to put one of my illustrations there. Let's have a look at some of the canvases that I have previously created and let's see if we can use this one. I quite like this one. So now what you can do is um, go to add and then copy canvas. So now this has copied the whole canvas and then let's go back to our template and then insert this canvas. So paste and now this is going to bring in our little graphic here and now you can see that it overlaps the heading but let's fix that as well so there's two ways how we can do that um, the first way is to just bring the image below your template and so now you have you still got the um, the month there or another way what you can do as well so let's undo this and put it back to the top you can mask out part of this layer so that the month will be visible again so let's select a mask like that and now we've got the layer mask and now we need to paint with black on the layer mask to hide certain areas of this layer and then just choose um, any painting brush that you have and then paint here and now we have the month revealed again. So this is a nice and easy way of how you can create your own template with any of the graphics you already have. Of course, you could also create your new one here or you could import a photo. There is so many options you have. Now, another option that you might like to take advantage of is changing some of the colors. This is really as well. What I recommend is alpha locking any of the layers. So if I wanted to change the January 2019 to a different color, maybe to match the little hearts here. Alpha lock the channel, you can either tap on the thumbnail and alpha lock or what I usually do is I swipe it to the right and then swipe it back, um, unlocks it again. Make sure that you've got that um, checkered background here on the thumbnail, that means it's alpha locked and then choose any of the colours and any of your favourite brushes. I'm going to use that iPelt Canvas Wash 2 brush here, I like this a lot. And then I can just paint over it. And you can maybe even use a couple of different colors as well. And so now this looks really, really nicely. And now, of course, you can go ahead and do this for all the different months. One of the things I really recommend is that you create new layers. Because let's say if I wanted to print this now, I want to turn this layer off so that it's not visible. And then I can print this. So a lot of people ask me about printing all the time and I'm not going to go into too many details right now, but I want to show you just the basics of what you need to do to print this file. I always recommend that you save your file in either JPEG or PNG format if you want to print from the iPad. If you wanted to print from your computer, from your laptop or desktop and you have Photoshop, then you could 
consider exporting it as a PSD. But if you print from the iPad um, or even from your computer, JPEG is actually a really good format and it's the one I'm going to choose. So now I'm just going to save the image and the image is now in my Photos app. All right, so now this is the Photos app and this is my file and now I want to print this. I have a couple of printers personally at home. I have the Epson P800 printer, which is a very high-end inkjet printer that I can use to print on canvas or fine art paper or photo paper, anything like that. And um, it's, it's amazing. But I also have a simple HP color laser jet and for the calendar templates, I'm going to show you how I'm going to print it to my HP laser chip. So now I'm going to um, check the export icon and then I'll select print here from the menu. And now you can see that um, my iPad pre-selects the um, color laser chip printer that I have. And then there's some options. The print menu options that will come up depend on the printer that you have. So there's not too many settings. All you have to do is tap print and then it'll send the picture to your printer and then let's see what it looks like. All right, and here is the printed page, printed on A4, and you can see it looks pretty similar to the way it looked on the iPad. So I'm actually very happy with how this came out. All right, so the next thing we want to look at is how you can make the calendar template even on your phone. And just in case you don't already have it, make sure that you've got the Procreate Pocket app installed. So this is what it looks like here. Let's just bring it up. And it looks pretty similar how it looks on the iPad. So if you've been using this app on the iPad, you would already be familiar with how it works. Now, let's import the calendar template. So you tap import. And then um, again, you'll see that we have the two different sets of templates. But now, unlike on the iPad, you have to actually import them one by one, which is also a benefit because you can then import them in the right order. So now I'll do January and then go back, import again, and then do February. So I would do this with all the different templates until I've got them all imported into Procreate Pocket. And now let's have a look at the template here. So select the layers panel and you can see it looks exactly the same as it looks on the iPad, which is very cool. So this is the exact same template. It works on the phone and it also works on the iPad, which is extremely cool. The same size, the exact same setup. So I'm very, very excited about this. All right, now let's see how we can modify this. Unfortunately, you won't be able to resize the canvas on the phone. That's one of the limitations that you have with Procreate Pocket, but we can still do some modifications. So one of the things you might like to do is actually import a photo to put it as a background. And now let's see how we can insert a photo background. Let's tap on modify and then actions. And you will see here in the, in the image tab, um, you have the option to insert a photo. So let's tap on that, which will open the Photos app, and let's select a photo that we want to use. And I've got this very beautiful image here, which I got from unsplash.com. So I'm just going to adjust the size a little bit, like that, to make it fit. All right, so now, um, because I've inserted it on the layer above all my templates, it pretty much covers everything that's underneath. But that's easy to fix, so we can just drag this layer to below the templates and then if you tap done you'll see that now we have this beautiful background image and then we have the template above another thing you can do now is actually make some of these things white to provide a bit of contrast so now we tap on the templates and then we swipe to the left to unlock the, this group and now you can see there is all the individual layers here as well so to change the labels, let's actually let's alpha lock all of these so we can change any of the ones that we want to change. And the labels are selected now, so that's good. And now let's change this to white. And then you can either now fill the whole layer with white. So you tap on it and then you tap fill layer. So now the whole, um, all the labels are white, as you can see, which is already pretty cool. But if you wanted to um, make it a little bit more individual, you could also now um, change the color to 
maybe light pink and then color it in using one of your favorite brushes for example the IPL canvas wash 2 brush I like this one a lot and then you could just color this in like that and you can see you can just use your fingers you don't even need a pencil or a stylus or anything you can just use your fingers to do that and customize your template and then maybe the ones here at the top let's make them light blue maybe a bit lighter let's see like that and color them in as well ever so slightly and then maybe even a gradient make them a bit darker here towards the end just want to make it a bit darker like that so this is how you can customize your template on your phone now same thing let's see what this looks like when we print it so now tap on modify and then actions and then share so now we're going to export this as a jpeg then export and save in the image all right and now so this is the same thing what we've done before on the ipad we open up the photos app and we send the template to the printer this is the exact same step so now we select print and then i select my hp color laser jet now you'll see here that there is a little bit of um, a border around the page and the reason is that that the printer won't print to the edge so this is just a limitation of the printer and what you'll need to do is trim the edges off once you've printed it so now let's see, select print and let's see what it looks like and here we have it the printed file and just remember we've made this on the phone so this is actually very cool so we've managed to make our own customized calendar template on the phone and you'll see here that the colors didn't come through so nicely so I would actually probably print this again but just adjust the colors here a little bit to make the um, the names of the days a little bit more visible all right and there you have it this is the 2019 calendar maker set let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Also, let me know if you find this type of content useful so that I can make more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.